Oh no, so for today's video I have a study with me from Saturday morning, um, so I thought I would just put together a couple of clips of me doing some work. This video is also a collab with a bunch of girls, so I'm going to leave down below their channels in the description box. But I thought today I would just talk you through what I was doing, as this is going to be the last video I'm uploading until June now, because I have exams approaching in two weeks, and honestly... Even just trying to film and edit this has been a struggle. So yeah, I'll be taking the next however many weeks off um, from filming and uploading and stuff. But I hope you understand. Anyway, so what I was doing here was just finishing off my revision notes for due days and practices. As we've now actually finished everything. So I thought I'd better just finish that off. So I was literally just doing Passover, uh, Yom, Kippur, Yom Kippur and Rosh Hashanah just filling in the notes for that and then once I finished that I missed the lesson on Tuesday because I had my French speaking so we had like a little my map kind of thing to fill out for the triune god so I thought well I may as well do that afterwards you know as I was in the uh, RS kind of mood so yeah I just highlighted through and then I just moved on to using the caboodle textbook and just filled out that my map that I was telling you about on the trinity and things like that Once I finished the mind map and the practice questions, I then moved on to doing some maths. Now, I started this paper um, during the lesson on Thursday, actually, uh, in my book. But what I've been doing is doing these papers on, like, paper and stuff, um, rather than just printing the whole thing out. And then anything, like a graph or shapes, I'll just print out. It saves so much paper as well. It's absolutely amazing. Um, so, yeah, I was just doing this, copying the questions I had done for my book. And then I just went ahead and finished the rest of it. I don't know where the rest of this clip has gone, because afterwards it just jumps to me mark it but yeah basically I just finished doing the paper and then marked it myself see where I need to improve on and where my strengths are that maybe I shouldn't need to keep going over the same kind of questions so yeah as you can see here I'm just going through with the mark scheme and marking it <laughs> I 
I then moved on to Seneca and did some geography. So I'd already done a lot of the coast stuff on there, but it was kind of just reviewing it over again. And then I actually did the one um, on a case study and I realized the reason why I didn't know anything was because our school chose to do a different case study. So uh, yeah, as you can see, it was all on like coasts and stuff. I was just checking over what I knew, what I didn't. And yeah, it's just a really, really good way to go back over stuff and just check what you need to revise. I then moved on to using my workbook for geography and I just answered a couple of the coast kind of questions and I also got out the revision guide just to check that I was using and writing the right things as we use a different um, textbook if that makes sense to the CGP one so sometimes the CGP words things differently or has different things in it compared to the Caboodle one so yeah I was just using that just in case and answered a few questions on coast and then I was just planning ahead for the week as I've scheduled in to do some questions on the rainforest and the desert so I was just looking at which questions I was going to answer during the week. <music> I then moved on to some history as I had the last my map to make um, for the Cold War. So what I've been doing is doing a big A3 my map for Cold War for each um, kind of subsection. So right now I have nine of these big A3 my maps. So this was the last one I needed to do for basically the end of it um, as we've just finished doing all the homework we haven't finished learning in class um, but I finished doing it all myself basically. So yeah I just made this my map and then I think this is the point where I had a break um, halfway through when I went and got snacks. So I don't think I put the camera back on record after that. But yeah, I just basically finished off this mind map. <laughs> After that I just made a smaller mind map and this is basically like an overview for the module as you will see and um, this is kind of just like a starting point for me so what I did was just put on like six or seven key things and literally wrote like a couple of sentences under each one and then that way my brain would like remember which ones and then I also did some French writing um, practice just in my workbook and then I finished off the morning by doing some biology I had a CGP paper to do I'd done the physics ones and the chemistry one already so I thought I'd make a start on the biology so I was just doing as much as I could by myself and then I did get out my revision guide um 
just for any questions that I didn't remember things with etc and I've just put a little star next to those where I used the revision guide and yeah that was all I did for that Saturday morning I hope you've all enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you're new around here make sure to hit subscribe down below I've got loads of videos coming over the summer for you and I will see you all um in June sometime I will probably very be active on Twitter as I've seen in previous years people tweet about the exams so follow me on Twitter if you want to keep up with my life and Instagram I'll try and be as active as possible but really I'm not too sure how active I will be I hope you all um have a lovely rest of the weekend and good luck to anyone else who is sitting there GCSEs A levels or if you've got mock exams anything like that make sure to leave me a comment down below let me know and in terms of last week's giveaway the winners will be announced on my Instagram and Twitter so head over there to check out if you've won and yeah I will see you all in June bye